Uh, house prices have been going up in recent years, but some experts predict they could actually fall next year as the market slows in the wake of our decision to leave the European Union. Yeah, as with a lot of things to do with Brexit, the picture is far from clear. Even within just one street, there are many complicating factors. So we've sent Victoria to Peterborough for us this morning. Uh, oh, it's looking very pretty there this morning, Victoria. What, what's it like there at the moment? It's great. It's uh, beautifully warm and sunny, actually. But uh, as Alex was saying, a very complicated picture for a weather, as fiendishly complicated a picture for the UK housing market. Because even on this road, this is Lincoln Road, is about five miles long in Peterborough. There are 49 houses for sale at the moment on this road and a huge variation in properties. You can see they're bungalows, they're semi-detached, they're uh, completely detached houses as well. The most expensive is going for £850,000. Uh, the least expensive is a two-bed flat on for £90,000. So a big variation even on one street. Some prices are rising, some values are rising and some are falling. We got a local estate agent, Terry Lucking, to show us around three of them to show us what's hot and what's not in this area of town. This is a very typical three bedroom family house. It was sold earlier this year for £148,000. That's £2,000 less than it was sold 10 years ago. If it goes back on the market today, it would sell for about £155,000. We've come just half a mile up the road from our last house, and this property was sold in 2012 for 242,000. If we were to remarket the property now, we'd be looking to achieve offers in excess of 325,000. Back in 2008, these apartments were selling at 140,000 pounds. Now they're selling at about 105 to 110,000. That's a 30 to 35,000 pound drop. But it's not all doom and gloom. Peterborough's transport link to King's Cross by 2018 is going to come down to less than 40 minutes. So we can expect to see some good capital growth. So it just goes to show, doesn't it, there is no such thing as the average home or even the average house price. I'm joined now by Kate Faulkner and by Matthew Clark. Now, Kate, the first question to you. Why can some values on the same road rise and others fall? Well, it all comes down to supply and demand. So if you've got two buyers who are chasing one property and they desperately want it, prices will go up. And if you've got two sellers desperate to sell, but there's only one buyer around for them, prices will typically go down. That's the first thing. Secondly, it's about access to finance and the condition of a property. So for example, if a property has subsidence and that's known, then no, very few lenders will lend on it. So that might only be available for cash buyers. That goes back to supply and demand and the number of buyers that can access that property means that it will probably sell less than another property that wouldn't have it. So what you then have is a whole series of factors that affect supply and demand. And what we've seen just now is that they are extraordinarily localised. So we might have, we've, sort of, we've got these lovely properties here, but if there's a huge development of 3,000 houses going in just down the road, that's clearly going to affect the supply and demand. If there's a huge population increase and no increase in the supply of property, is, prices will naturally go up as long as the affordability and the money is available. So it's those key factors. Everything that affects supply and demand, that's what will affect the price of your property. Okay, now Matthew, uh, you're trying to sell this house behind us. It's a, what, a yeah. four bed house. Yeah. Uh, how's the sale going? Well, at the moment, this property's been on the market uh, for about three to four months with us. It's just been reduced significantly in price by the current owner. Um, this property is actually originally a family home and is now um, rented out uh, six rooms and brings in in excess of £2,300 a month. Um, so this property will appeal to two types of buyer, the investment purchaser or somebody looking for a good family home, obviously in a very, very desirable location. Now, lots of people have been worried about what's going on with the housing market, worried that there, you know, perhaps Brexit and the vote to leave the EU is going to affect confidence. In your experience, Matthew, has there been any change in demand in this area? 
There, there was an initial period, maybe of three to four weeks, where there was a somewhat a bit of hesitancy in the market. Uh, that confidence is coming back now. Um, lots of buyers are registry looking for property, um, and therefore that does push prices up slightly. Um, all does depend on, on location of the property, um, and um, yeah, we're, we're finding you know the, the biggest issue for us right now is getting more property onto the market to sell. Yeah, of course, uh, Kate, that is a massive issue, isn't it? it stock, is. housing stock, near 30-year lows at the moment. So we've had this report out this morning saying that prices are still rising across the country. I mean, how much is that to do with a mismatch between supply and demand still? Well, it is absolutely that mismatch. And as long as the finance is there, and of course the financing costs have gone down tremendously as well over the last few years, so that allows people with the same amount of money they can afford a higher and higher amount to offer because the mortgage costs are so low now and, ma and maintaining the, um, the the cost of that mortgage is so much easier so as a result you know you're just going to be able to offer more when you've got the cost lower so supply and demand is critical uh, that's right. So that's it from me for the moment. So it's never actually been cheaper for some people to get a mortgage. Interest rates, the base rate at 0.25%, but the housing stock, that is the crucial factor, near 30-year lows. And that squeeze on supply means that prices across the country, on average, are still rising. Victoria, thanks very much. Amazing how many people love talking about how much the house is worth and how much it's changed. It is a years. national obsession, isn't it? It is.